welcome and uh, welcome back to my channel so today we're gonna master the art of making our house look clean like we done deep clean for two days but we ain't did nothing but just yeah. surface clean so here you see i'm like putting back everything in its place pretty much and wiping down whatever is sticky from the kids um summer the kids school days that they're home all I do is just put everything back, wipe off the tables, wipe the chair, and just put everything in its place. And trust me, it works. It makes it look like I have done a lot, and I have not. Now, here you see I'm sweeping. The most important thing you will notice is if your floors look clean, trust me, that is a major Part of this process making sure the floors are mop and looking shiny and here I'm just wiping down the kids chair because they were dirty from the whole week of homeschooling and everything so I just want to make sure everything looked presentable so you're pretty much gonna surface clean your whole apartment that's what I'm doing all I'm doing is changing the sheet and putting back my pillows that's it nothing more nothing less i wipe down the dresser that the kids touch and then i mop the floors and i am done with the living room So after I am finished with the living room, I jump straight into the kitchen. All I do in here is just wash the dishes, make sure the dish strainer is cleared, wipe the counters down, and clean the um the stove and put back anything that the kids took took out of their snack drawer. I just put it back in their snack drawer, no special order, because like I said, I'm not deep cleaning, I'm just pretty much surface cleaning. Just so the house looks like I've deep cleaned the whole house. And here, um, you'll see I lit a candle. If you're not a big fan of candles or you like essential oil, you can do that also. You can tip some essential oil in the water that you're using to clean. And in some warm water. And trust me, that will make your whole house smell like the essential oil. So if you are not a big fan of candles or you just don't like to burn them, because I'm not a very big fan a lot of times either, so you can just dip, um, put some essential oil in some warm water and just wipe down your apartment. It will have your house looking so uh, smelling so so good.
So this is um, my hallway where you enter into my apartment. So in here, I'm just um, putting all the bags together, moving the stuff that I got from the grocery store earlier, putting all the garbage in the garbage can and making sure like the floor looks amazing. Because the problem with this is when the kids are in and out and they're they're taking their shoes off right there. It can, tends to have a lot of footprints and a lot of dirt from the traffic. So here it's very important that you sweep and mop this area. This is like the entrance. So everyone enters through your apartment this way and that will make your apartment have like a very good first impression. Also, um, with the whole essential oil, I mop with warm water. So I would advise you to dip some essential oil in there if you're not a big fan of the whole process of like candles and stuff like that or humidifier. You could just dip some essential oil into the water. So now jumping into the bathroom. I know you guys have seen me clean my bathroom over and over, but this is going to be a little bit different because I'm not going to deep clean. The only place I would probably say I deep clean is a tub and that's because it gets a lot of traffic. The boys will be in there sometimes 10-15 minutes each playing. This is everything that I use to clean. Um, same thing that I've always used to clean but for me I am going to deep clean pretty much my whole bathroom but if you just want to surface clean if your bathroom has a shower curtain just you can skip cleaning the shower but like I said my kids take forever in there I use it every day sometimes twice a day so I do try to clean it every week and then the main focus needs to be the sink area and the toilet area. I'm potty training a boy, so my floors get mopped a lot because he misses a lot. So 
those are the areas that I'm mainly focusing on. And then I do have like a plug-in that is really good. So that keeps the in the bathroom fresh. So that, that also helps. But all of this that I'm doing, you don't have to do if you're just trying to surface clean. But I just like my tub clean when I'm going to shower. Oh yes, let me pop in here. Make sure you clean your mirror. You don't want to have a dirty mirror if you're going to have company. That's a big giveaway that you didn't really clean your house. So make sure your mirrors are clean. that's all the common areas that people would see the only place i didn't touch is my bedroom and that is just put everything in its place and make my bed 
in my room would look very nice. So here you can see that after and you will see the difference of before when I started everything looked a whole lot better than when I first started. Everything looked like it's in its place. It looked like I probably spent hours deep cleaning. And this literally probably did not take me a good 30 minutes. And most of my time was spent in the bathroom. And if you're not doing all of that, then your time will be a lot shorter. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Or and let me know some little tricks that you do around your home that you'd like to share or if there's anything you'd like to see me clean or for us to tackle together let me know and we'll make it happen so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video mm -hmm.